Coming up, let's see what's going on at one of our elementary schools. And how our students are getting their hands dirty with creativity. If you're interested in some fall festivities going on around town, stay tuned for later in the episode. From Blue Springs South High School, this is the award-winning JAG TV. Welcome back to JAG TV News, as seen daily on Xfinity Comcast Channel 15. I'm Avery Wells. And I'm Malia McGlynn. We begin this broadcast with extremely exciting news. The Jaguar Pride marched down to Bentonville, Arkansas and competed in the Bentonville Marching Invitational. They went against bands from Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, and Kansas. In their preliminary performance, they managed to win all three caption awards, as well as the first place trophy. Later that night, in the finals performance, the Jaguar Pride swept the competitors, taking home awards for outstanding music, general effects, and visual performance. And at the end of the night, winning it all and taking home the first place Becky and Gary Gale Cup with a score of 80.70. <laughs> For the first time in its history, Cordell Mason was given their very own school song. Here's Gabe with the story. Last Friday, Cordell Mason Elementary School celebrated a historic moment in their school history. For the first time, they have their very own school song. It's such an honor to be the Cordell Mason uh, principal. Um, this is my second year at Cordell Mason, and I absolutely love the staff and the students. Ms. Engelbach introduced us to Ms. Robin Padgett, the music teacher at CME. Ms. Padgett wrote and produced the wonderful Cordell Mason school song. I wrote the school song this summer because we, we decided to do Cougar Pride for our motto here at Cordell Mason, and I thought we had to have something. Congratulations to the students, teachers, and faculty of Cordo Mason Elementary School. Congratulations on your school song, and we hope you have a fantastic school year. This is Gabe Porter, reporting for JAG TV. Thanks, Gabe. So happy Cordo was able to get their own school song. The annual Spooky Springs Festival will take place October from 6 to 8 p.m. Entry into the event is free. There will be lots to enjoy, including crafts, games, vendors, and food trucks, as well as a fun, spooky trail. On top of all that, there will be a Boo Springs event for kids that will require a pre-admission. The event will include a pumpkin patch where ages 2 to 10 can pick a pumpkin and decorate it. Malia, did you know that Carolyn's pumpkin patch has a train? What? They do? I've always wanted to ride on a festive fall train. Here's Ashley with more on Carolyn's pumpkin patch. There's a pumpkin patch in Liberty that's been in business for over 30 years. Carolyn's Pumpkin Patch offers many activities, including a carousel, a train, and lots of pumpkins, of course. We love this time of year because it's starting to feel more like fall, and this is a place where people come to build traditions. I like the wagon ride to the pumpkin fields, just because nothing feels more, more fall than going through the corn and going out to pick your own pumpkin that you get to take home and, and carve or paint or whatever it is that you want to do. There's animal petting stations and a bakery with lots of treats. They're open to the public five days a week from Thursday through Monday. These festivities will only be continuing through October 30th, so make sure you stop by before then. That's all for now. I'm Ashley Gleiser with JAG TV. Thanks, Ashley. I can't wait to ride a carousel with my favorite pumpkin by my side. Over this weekend, our speech and debate teams hosted their annual speech and debate tournament. This year, they hosted the varsity students with Blue Springs High School hosting the novice. The competition hosted dozens of schools from all over the KC Metro. The event lasted two days and was a blast for everyone involved. Congratulations to our teams for hosting such a difficult and rigorous tournament. Do you like pottery and getting your hands dirty? You should consider joining Mud Throwers. Here's Cameron with the story. Mud Throwers is a fun after school club every Monday and Wednesday where you can get to know other artists using clay. I like Mud Throwers because it's a group of artists that come together and work with clay and a lot of us don't have the opportunity to work with clay outside of school and so it's kind of just like an after school like sort of class and it's really fun um, socializing with other artists you know reflecting on uh, our creations you know cool stuff. If you're talented in arts and crafts, join Mud Throwers to improve your skills even more. Also, if you're struggling with being social, it's a perfect place for you. 
I joined Mud Throwers to learn different things with Miss Martin and getting better on the wheel with making mugs and bowls and I'm really excited for Bowls for Souls this year. If you're looking for a club that involves arts and crafts, Mud Throwers is just for you. For more information on Mud Throwers, go to Miss Martin's class, 207. I'm Cameron McDonald for JAG TV. Thanks Cameron. I should look into joining Mud Throwers. Coming up, let's see why some of our students went to UCM and how police are formulating new ways to catch our license plates. News from South High School in the city of Blue Springs. You're watching JAG TV. Hey students, this is Brandon Jackley with Chick-fil-A in Blue Springs. We are looking for great talent, so why don't you come join us? Some of the great things about working at Chick-fil-A Blue Springs is that we promote from within our own team. We have flexible hours where you can create your own schedule. We have competitive pay where full-time team members start at 15 an hour. We also offer college scholarships. Last year, we had 11 students receive a college scholarship from Chick-fil-A Blue Springs. So come join the Chick-fil-A Blue Springs family by texting my pleasure to 816-494-2208 to apply today. Hi, I'm Steve Perch with the Perch Agency here at Country Financial in Blue Springs. Here at Country, we offer competitive premiums with homeowners, auto, and life insurance. We offer teacher discounts, good student discounts, as well as first responder discounts on our auto insurance. We also offer retirement and financial planning. Come see us in our Blue Springs location on the corner of 7 and 40 Highway or call us at 816-795-6232. Rink Rats has been bringing the fun since 2010 with all types of special skating events. Friday nights are teen nights, adult night is Monday, and family nights are Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. Rink Rats can do PTA fundraisers for your school and they even specialize in birthday parties. To schedule your party or special event, call 816-229-7793 or check their website at rink-ratsratz.com. Located just off Southside Highway 7 in Blue Springs, Rink Rats. Come see how they roll. Welcome to a place of excitement and incomparable tastes. When you enter our realm, everything is a conversation starter. Your experience will be unforgettable after the family dives into our mouth-watering appetizers. From our breadsticks, to our wings, to our dragon scales, there's something for everyone. And don't worry, next time you have a party, we've got you covered with our party room. The Pizza Place, on the north and south sides of Blue Spring. From Blue Springs South High School, this is JAG TV. Welcome back, JAGs. This week is Community Union Week. Make sure you're filling out your bingo cards with all the canned goods you can carry. All the proceeds will go to the Community Services League. This week's donation will supply them six months worth of food. We also have two Spirit Weeks this week. Let's go to Cam with reminders. Hey, JAGs. Let's get right into reminders. Starting off, Service Academy night is Wednesday, October 11th from 7 to 8.30 p.m. in the Black Fox Theater. For any Blue Spring South student or any student in the district who might be interested in attending the Air Force Academy, West Point, Naval Academy, or the Coast Guard Academy, uh, we'll give information on the application procedures, how you get nominated by senators and congressmen. Students interested in applying to any academy contact Colonel Cole in the ROTC room. The first and only pre-SAT test of the year is coming up on Thursday, October 12th. The deadline to sign up has passed, but it's not too early to sign up for the ACT test day on December 9th. If you want to get signed up early, the registration deadline is November 3rd in order to avoid any late fees. Community Unity Week is approaching quickly, which means another Spirit Week. We only have Thursday and Friday this year, but Thursday is Hex Day, dress in your Crosstown Rival gear. Friday is School Spirit Day, so dress in your blue and green. Lastly, my favorite, parent-teacher conferences are starting October 25th and are scheduled individually starting on the 26th, which means no school for students the 26th and 27th. That's all for reminders. I'm Cameron Kemp, JAG TV. Thanks, Cam. This past week, students from Blue Springs and Blue Springs South took a trip to UCM to learn everything you'd need to know about becoming a teacher. Kids from all over the state of Missouri traveled to UCM for the UCM College of Education Future Teachers event. The event included many activities including puzzles, photo shoots, and questionnaires with many of the students currently at UCM. 
At the end of the day, all 600 of the attending students congregated to listen to our very own Dr. Leslie Evans, as she was the guest of honor asked to speak for the Teacher Academy. We have a great relationship with UCM and those partnerships that we have with UCM allow us to really do some great things and as part of that they ask if I would come and speak and I'm I was super excited to get to try to maybe inspire a few people to choose a career in education. It was an amazing trip crammed full of future teacher oriented activities. If it looks interesting and you'd think you'd want to go, there's another trip next semester. For more information, contact Mrs. Warren. Did you know that the police are finding new ways to read your license plates? Here's Adam with City State Nation. Hey Jags, in City News, the Blue Springs Police Department launched a license plate reader camera program. There are about 24 automatic license plate readers placed throughout the city, mainly in high traffic and commercial areas. The police department's goal with it is to slow down speeders and reduce crime in our community. In State News, Missouri farmers have been struggling through a drought this September and October, making it harder to keep their farms running. However, there are some ways to fight back, like the Hay and Water Assistance Program which provides these farmers with enough water to get by until the next rain comes. In the nation, former Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy was voted out of the job Tuesday in an extraordinary showdown. Members from both parties held a vote if he should stay in office, voting to be removed by a majority vote of 216 to 210 within the House. This is the first time a Speaker of the House has been ousted in United States history. The House is expected to elect a new Speaker in the following weeks. That's all for City, State, Nation. I'm Adam Pierce for Jack TV. Thanks, Adam. Those plate readers are pretty cool. The yearbook is currently on sale and is currently only $85. Get this year's yearbook now. For any more information on the yearbook, make sure to go to Mrs. Wells in room 909. Now, with this week's entertainment, let's go to Michaela. Hey, Jags. This week in entertainment, the holiday spirit is in the air. Disney announced season two of their show, The Santa Clauses, is set to release the first episode on November 8, 2023. The show stars Tim Allen as Scott Calvin and continues to follow the story of Scott decades after he becomes Santa Claus. The second season of the show is set to follow how the Calvin family returns to the North Pole and how Scott begins to train his son Cal to become Santa Claus. These winter adventures are sure to be fun for the whole family. Get your dancing shoes on because Just Dance 2024 comes out at the end of this month. Ubisoft sent the release date for Just Dance to be October 24, 2023. The new game will feature the latest hits from singers like Miley Cyrus and Bad Bunny to beloved classic songs by legends like Whitney Houston. The game is rated E for Everyone and is to be released on Nintendo Switch, Xbox, and PS5. Are you a fan of musicals? If so, then this upcoming movie series is definitely for you. Universal Studios is coming out with the movie Wicked Part 1 on November 27, 2024, followed by Wicked Part 2 set to come out in 2025. This two-part film adaption is based on the 1995 novel Wicked, The Life and Times of the Wicked Witch of the West by Gregory Maguire and characters from Lyman Baum's The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. The movie will star some big names like Cynthia Ervo and Ariana Grande and is sure to be a wicked good time. That's all for entertainment. I'm Michaela Zavani for Jack TV. Did you know a Jack TV member hops onto BSSD Radio every day at noon to give a daily city and forecast update? You can listen to them on Channel 15 as well as bssdradio.net. Also, remember that the BSSD Radio will be playing spooky tunes on October 31st. And then the next... things to get you into the Halloween spirit. Let Big Frog outfit your clubs and teams and help your fundraisers and more by creating your very own online store with professional help from Big Frog. First, select the gear, artwork, and options for your store. Second, Big Frog builds your online store to match your branding. Third, promote your new online store to your team, parents, and fans by sharing a link. Your store is open 24-7. And, best of all, you are never stuck with leftover inventory. Products are made as orders are received. Get started today. Contact Big Frog and Independence at 816-795-1115. Looking for a sweet treat? Come check us out at Culver's where we have fresh, delicious frozen custard.
Come see us at Culver's on South 7 Highway in Blue Springs. Don't let pest control your life. Let Moxie Pest Control be your pain relief. That means a thorough inspection and treatment without dangerous chemicals. Experience the Moxie difference at killbugsfast.com. Moxie Pest Control, Kansas City's pest control experts. Hi, uh, my name is Brent Alexander. I've been coming to Dalquist Dental for uh, something like 10 years now. It's the best experience I've ever had at a dentist's office. It's awesome. It really means a lot to be able to take your kids somewhere and that they feel safe and you know that they're going to have a good experience. Everyone here is so nice, so helpful. If you ever have a question about anything, you can just call up. Um, it's, it's amazing. Sports is sponsored by Rod Sports of Blue Springs. Hey Jags, welcome back to sports. Our volleyball team had their big pink game last Tuesday against Blue Springs where they won three sets to zero. They then went on to play Liberty North on Thursday where they unfortunately lost three sets to one. They will be looking to bounce back tonight against Ray Peck. Our softball team traveled to Lee Summit West last Thursday, where they won with a final score of 5-2. Nice job, ladies. Keep up the great work. Our boys' soccer team had the Sheridan Strong Cup against Blue Springs last Thursday, where they won with a final score of 4-0. Great job, boys. Finally, our football team went up to Liberty North, where they fought hard but came up just short with a final score of 38-26. They play Blue Springs this Friday at home. Make sure to show up and support against our crosstown rivals. That's all for sports. I'm Sam Casburn for JAG TV. Our softball team is cooking it this year. Super excited to see what they'll leave on the table by the end of the season. This Saturday, the 14th, an annular eclipse will take place over the southern part of the U.S. as well as parts of South America. Although we won't be in the direct path, we will still be able to view a 60% partial eclipse around 11.30 to noon. That's awesome. Make sure to get some solar eclipse glasses. Looking for some fun Halloween ideas? Let's go to Cole to see what he's doing. Hey Jags, I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks for next time you carve pumpkins. There's a long, standing tradition to remove the top of the pumpkin, but there's a better way starting at the bottom. First, you should flip the pumpkin over, on top, a large bowl to protect the stem. It is good to have a nice, sturdy foundation. For this, you can put a lightly damped hand towel under the bowl. The best kind of tool for carving is usually a keyhole saw. If you don't have that, a serrated knife works just as good. Now that we're ready to carve, let's make an outline using a bowl and dry erase marker. Using a sharp edge spoon or electric equipment is the most effective when removing the seeds. Once you choose a side where your carving will go, you can thin out the area even more to make carving extra easy. I like to use a dry erase marker while doing my design so if I mess up, I can easily erase. The final step is carving. Now you can put it on the porch for all to see. Cole sure knows how to make a good looking pumpkin, but now it's time for a spooky special provided by the advanced video class. Hey Jacob. Uh... Oh I know, this allergy season got me going crazy too. Uh... Jacob, you don't sound too good. Jacob, you don't look too good. I sure hope nothing bad happens. That would be precarious. Looks like we've got company. Another one? Uh. 
What are we gonna do? Crap, crap, crap. Think. Wow, I think I got the chills. Yeah, me too. If you enjoyed this episode and want to stay updated, make sure to follow our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube channel. And remember to tune into this week's Jagcast with Janae Scranton, one of the theater co-presidents. And make sure to watch us as well as Wildcat TV on Xfinity's Comcast Channel 15. Thanks for tuning into this week's episode of Jag TV. I'm Avery Wells. And I'm Malia McGlynn. See, See you next week. week.